My friend Jade Salah from Lagos, Nigeria said, John, I want you to talk a minute with Maxwell on the word flexibility. And you know, when you gave me that word, my friend, I thought of my book, Leadership, that I wrote a few years ago. The whole thesis of that book is the fact that the greatest leaders are agile. They're flexible. They can turn on a dime. They can pivot. They, they understand that when you begin to proceed in your life journey, you have a lot of surprises, things that you just didn't even think about or plan about, and all of a sudden, you've got to make a quick shift if you're going to be successful. In America, of course, football is a, a big sport, and often I teach about the fact the difference between a good coach and a great coach is this. All good coaches have pre-game plans. They do. In fact, they called the first dozen offensive plays. They've already got them set in the playbook, the, you know, the, maybe the first eight or ten defensive plays. Good coaches have a pregame plan, but great coaches make halftime adjustments because what they find out is the game didn't go like they thought it would always go, and all of a sudden they're surprised. They're saying, oh, my gosh, that plan that we had isn't going to work. They're, they're not even running those plays today. And so what do they do at halftime? They make adjustments. They're flexible. They move, and, and they move quickly because they understand that the ability to adjust fast is you know, just going to help them with their success. So it's a great word, flexibility, and it's a word that I think all of us need to have in this trying times that we live today. Uh, just give it a chance. Don't be so set in concrete that you have no ability to have options or sometimes punt. Just stay flexible, pivot some, and adjust with the day as whatever it brings, and you'll find you'll be more successful. <music>